Hello, dear friends of Orange Pie. My name is Philip Miller. I'm the CEO of Manjaro, and we are a community-driven company based in Germany. And we are the software distributor of the Orange Pie Neo. Um, very happy to be here, have the opportunity to be here in HSN and learn all your friends and introduce you the device. The Orange Pie Neo is the first handheld device of Orange Pie. This contains a lot of technologies and to understand it fully, let's play a video. Orange Pi NEO, Linux Gaming Console. AMD Ryzen 7 7840U. Unleash the power of performance. New cooling system. The case is always cooler than 38 degrees Celsius, so you'll always be at your best. All rocker. No dead zone, high precision, and no drift. Dual stereo panoramic speakers. Pleasant sound. Dual joystick RGB colorful lighting. Ignite the passion of fighting. 50WH high capacity battery. Long battery life. 7 inch borderless full screen. Bringing stunning visual enjoyment. High brightness, wide color gamut. 120 Hz refresh rate, rich and detailed image texture, pearl white, fresh and elegant, obsidian black, mysterious and fashionable, ergonomic design, delicate and comfortable grip, rich practical scenes, switch at will, it's a handheld, it's also a handheld PC, orange pie neo, Enjoy pure fun anytime, anywhere. So the first highlight of this immersive ambient experience, it's featured a seven inch bezel free full screen front of the body. We have a tempered glass 2.5D and it's simple, stylish, impact resistant, scratch resistant, highly transmissive and fully protecting the internal and the body. The design is unprecedentedly integrated and aesthetically pleasing. The absence of the boundary constraints can give you a more immersed screen uh, display and a better quality of uh, picture quality. We have a resolution of 1920 by 1200, 16 by 10 display aspect ratio, 500 nits, and a 120 refresh rate. The highest rates brings you a fast response of the game but also the smoothness fluently of the experience. The colors are accurate, full, transition is normal. Restore the rich and delicate textures of the screen. This will bring you a movie level visual. There are no screws. So the body is without screws on the side. This gives you more or less <clears throat> a decorative piece. You can say that it's like a combination of craftsmanship and minimalism. Also, what you need is lightning, perfect audio. We have dual screen, joysticks, RGB, colorful. This gives you a pleasing sound experience for playing games. Another highlight is the controls. So the Orange Pie Neo has an intimate and additive uh, terms of game control and gives you the comfort for the gamers. Based on the interpretation of the Neo it designed ultimate comfort for gamers. So what we have is in depth every detail was made we have uh, ergonomics on the curve of the chassis, and the grip gives you a comfort way to hand uh, the device. And you don't have any sweat resistance, so you can clean it easily. And the whole trigger, linear triggers are good for having uh, the best controls to use. You have 100% debt free inner and outer ring, and high precision and no drift. We have <coughs> dual access uh, HD haptics on uh, the rumble on the side. 
and we have the gyro so you can uh, aiming and uh, do FPS uh, screens much easily. So how is the design? We have the classic design of an Xbox controller. On the top you see LCRC, which are programmable. Then we have the standard X, Y, A, B buttons. And of course we added a uh, touchpad to it. What CPU? We have the Ryzen 7840U. It's four nanometers, eight cores, 16 threads, Zen 4 technology up to 5.1 gigahertz. The graphics card we have here is the AMD Radeon 780M. It has the R&D 3 uh, graphics architecture, which is 150% larger and faster than the RDN2. And we combine that with all the TPR 7,500 megahertz. The cooling system, what we also need, is called Glacier Cooling System. We have dual copper pipes, large copper pipe sheets, which are 50 by 02 ultra thin. Cooling fins, the heat dispeacher is uh, 24,510 millimeter quadrat, and a large uh, PC grade uh, fan. The chassis itself will don't get under uh, 45 grad Celsius, and the hand grip is about uh, 38 grad Celsius. And we give you an, a battery of uh, 50 watt hours, which gives you about a play time from three to four uh, hours, depending on the game. Memory-wise, we have uh, several configurations, 16 or 32 DDR5. We have a hard drive, M2 full-size, 22800 mmv, and we can have from 512 gigabytes to two terabytes of uh, SSD. We have a dual USB-C connections under, and one is on the top. We have Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3, and therefore we can connect wireless headsets on the device. We have two colors. One is pearl, the other one is uh, obsidian, which for my taste look really great. And what we have is a different operating system. Most of the competitors have Windows 11. On this device, we used Linux. So Manjaro Linux Gaming Edition will be placed on that. So we have a 6.7 Linux kernel, immutable file system based on BetterFS, and all the applications will be on Flatpak. The desktop environment, so you don't have to uh, update or install it. The boot process is just two minutes. You set it up and uh, you can enjoy your games. So let's review the highlights. We have the AMD Ryzen 7840U, a seven inch display, white color gamut blesserless 120 hertz fresh rate, hall rockers, linear triggers, floating without drifting, the turbo fan, 500 watt capacity of battery, and the touch pads, dual screen, and the joysticks RGB Lightning, plus the Glacier cooling system. We'll be a child again. We enjoy games, explore new toy stories, and experience the games of your uh, childhood.